This video kind of sucks to make, but I feel like I have to make it. Hey, I'm Margaret. I'm a full-time reseller. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a hard look at the things that are and are not selling on eBay. I, over the last couple videos, I've shared a little bit of my strategy starting to change as far as picking up items that are long tail, short tail. And while I'm still making sales and making money, I'm beginning to get frustrated with myself and my strategy uh, that I'm picking up things that I, not that I've gotten into a rut, but I've gotten so accustomed to picking up the same sort of things that used to sell really well, or perhaps I didn't mind so much if I had more of a mix of long, long tail and short tail items that um, it didn't really bother me. But I'm at the point where I need to be seeing a little bit more movement in my eBay store and with my inventory. And it's forcing me to take a really hard look at the things I normally pick up and uh, whether or not that's a good strategy anymore. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I make videos all about reselling and making money online. I'd love to have you subscribe. And again, this is not like going to be the most fun video, but it's important that we all take a hard look like at what's working and what's not working. And it doesn't make any sense to keep plowing forward and doing stuff that's not working anymore. If you're new and you're not sure what I mean by long tail and short tail items, long tail items are items that you might have in your store that will take a little bit longer to sell. It'll sell eventually, but it might take six months, a year, two years, depending on how long you keep things in your store. Short tail items are things that are gonna sell more quickly, things that are more um, items that people are looking for more readily and more immediately. So I am going to jump into some footage and we're stopping at certain items that I've always picked up or the same kinds of items I've picked up and taking a hard look at if it's something that yes, I should pick it up and, or no, I should not. Now I am going to be showing some of uh, my research using Terapeak, which I know not everybody has access to. I believe you have to have a U uh, eBay store for that, but I'm also going to show you a method that I use if I don't look at Terapeak to kind of get an idea at what the sell through rate is. And I'm going to link uh, an article down below explaining a little bit more about what sell through rate is if you're new. So I'm going to read from it. It says a strong sell through rate percentage on eBay tends to be 80 to 100 percent, while sell through rate sell through percentages below 30 to 50 percent often, not always, um, can give sellers cause for concern. So what that means is if there are 50 items up on eBay and 25 of those 50 sold, then that's got like a 50% sell through rate. And we want that to be higher. So let's take a look. And there are some items that I find at the thrift store in this um, ride along that are good pickups. They are not, however, the kinds of things that I always pick up. So let's take a look and yeah, jump into it. The first thing that I'm noticing here are these owl bookends. This is exactly the kind of thing that I would always pick up. They were $6.99, they were metal, they're quite heavy, and this is normally something, even at that price, that I probably would have picked up. So my initial search, I'm seeing a couple that are up there, but I'm looking at owl bookends, and their average selling price is $44.00 with a sell-through rate of 10%, which is really, really slow. So this might still be an item that I would wanna pick up. However, it, it's something that is going to definitely take longer to sell. If you don't have Terapeak, then this is the way that I try to figure out if something has a fairly good sell-through rate. On this one, I just put Owl Bookends. I technically should have put something more specific, but there are 899 listings up for sale right now with those keywords, owl bookends. The next thing I want to do is take a look at how many have sold. And this would be the last 90 days. So 241 have sold. So while it shows that they are selling, they're probably going to be something that are going to take a little bit longer to sell. You want those numbers to be as close together as humanly possible. So if there are 10 up and nine had sold, then you would know that there, there are people looking for them and that's going to be something that's worth picking up. It's going to sell fairly quickly. The prices at this, this was at a Savers, the prices at this Savers were really, really high. So here is a, what looks to like a Capo de Monte uh, box and it, it is damaged. This is again one of those types of items that I would generally pick up if the price was right. $10 for a damaged, nope. 
Uh, but I, I wouldn't have picked it up damaged anyway. But this is something that would have been a, a longer tail item to sell. This was a really pretty glass. See, my eye is drawn to the same kinds of things, but I'm having to really stop myself and research to see is it going to be something good to pick up. Okay, Trent from Tecron. This is a car. This is not something I generally pick up. $10. So the first thing I've done here is do a search for Trent Tecron, and I see that there are 16 results. These are how many are currently listed on eBay. But what I need to do is now look and see how many have sold. And again, we want those two numbers to be as close as possible. So when I search for sold, it shows that there are 12 that has sold, and this is in the last 90 days. So that is a really good sell-through rate just by looking at that. Even though there's not a lot up, not a lot sold, 16 and 12, it's showing that those numbers are really close and they're, they're consistent sellers. Now, if I go over and look at the Terra Peak, then what I'm seeing here is that the average sold price is $19.16 and the sell-through rate is 30.77, which is still not as high as we want, but it's a lot better. So this is something that is selling uh, and it's, I mean, it's not selling like hotcakes, but it is selling. So that is something that probably would be an okay pickup. However, the sold price, the average sold price was $19 they wanted basically ten dollars for this item so based on that i probably would not pick it up because it would just be too much not enough profit there at all if it were something say for a dollar then yeah that might be something that would be worth picking up however i am trying to get things that are now 50 percent or higher sell through rate uh, and so that would i mean just because i've got so much long tail items so many i should say so many long tail items in my eBay store already uh, that is not something I want I need to add to I want to start finding things that are selling more quickly now one of the things I am noticing is that I am just drawn to the same sections and it may just be time for me to start branching out into areas that I don't normally look at and that's just something that as a seller and as a person you're always having to learn and grow and if it's not working anymore, then really just have to start looking in other areas because if you're thrifting for fun and for just a hobby to sell, then yeah, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trying to make this a full-time income, then you've got to be smart and strategic about it. As we're going on, if you think of areas that you are going through that are, are more short tail, things that are selling more quickly, then leave one of those categories or one of those items down below in the comment section so that we can start learning and growing together. Let's keep looking here. So again, I'm in a section that I almost always go into. I'm going to need to start branching out. I'm thinking like sports equipment, golf clubs, electronics, things of that nature. But I do see here a, it's a, um, what's the brand there? Kiwi, like a shoe valet kit. So looking at what's up, there are 15 with that specific Kiwi shoe valet kits up right now for sale. There are 11 that have sold. And from what I'm seeing on those sold, it looks like there's different varieties, newer versus older. This one was empty. So it's not going to be much that I can sell that I think anyway. Um, the sell-through rate is 24% with 37 as the average price. It's getting closer. So this would be like a maybe pickup. It might still be kind of a longer tail item, but I'm seeing there's a little more movement on this item, getting closer to that 30%. But again, I'm still trying to find things that are getting closer to that 50 and up as far as sell-through rate. So here, this is totally empty. I did see one that was sold for $10, but again, it's not something that I'm going to pick up right now uh, with this new strategy I'm trying to put into place. I've got plenty of stuff sitting for long tail items that uh, need to be sold, so I'm going to pass on that. The next thing that I see is this beaded poinsettia table runner. It's beautiful. And I see 142 listings are currently up for sale right now. And there are 70 that have sold in the last 90 days. 
that's not a great looking sell through rate. So when I come over, I went ahead and changed it to the last year because I wanted to get an idea as far as the sell through rate. Was it something that's closer to the holidays? Well, if I hit this little arrow, it'll show me how many have sold, not the price sold. So I wanted to see how many had sold over the last year and when they were selling most. And looking at this chart, I can see that there's quite an uptick of them selling closer to the holidays. Now, holiday items do sell all year round, so I do, if I have it, I will list it. But I'm looking at this and the sell through rate is blank. So that can't be very good, I imagine. But uh, that being said, again, if this was something that was an item for the right price, maybe around the holidays, I would pick it up, you know, if it was after summertime, October, November, then it might be something I would take a chance on. If I'm really looking for things that are selling more quickly, then I have to really evaluate that. The next thing I spot is a false graph gravy boat. And there are some of these, no, that's not false graph. That one's dance, my mistake. There's a false graph coming up though. Um, but this is one, you know, it's not selling for that much. So I'm passing on that. And here are the false graph mugs. I love selling mugs. There are some patterns with false graph. It's just one of these things that you have to look up. But just looking at that, I already knew I'm not going to pick these up and sell four of them for $12. That's just not going to be something I'm willing to do. I do, again, I like selling mugs. Some sell more quickly than others. This one's got peeling on it. Uh, I'm looking for things. That's my, my mantra right now. I'm looking for things that are going to sell quickly. I have so much already. This is an Angela Starling. I think I'm saying that right, Starling. And it was, you know, owls, but I think owls may have played themselves out. There were two up for sale, one for around 20, one for eight. There were zero solds. So that was one that I for sure was going to leave behind. I just can't go off my gut anymore. I am learning that my gut might be good on certain things, but there are certain things that I have got to start looking up because they don't sell like they used to. And I know I'm probably sounding like a broken record here, but I am trying to like get it through my own thick skull that I can't just keep doing what I've always done and expect that my uh, sales are going to pick up and start uh, having a better, a better sell through. And that's really, really what I need. Here's the perfect example of doing what we've always done. This is a Ray Dunn. They used to sell really well, and there probably still are some that sell really well, but I went ahead and just looked at the Terra Peak, just Ray Dunn in general, and what I saw was not pretty. So 7% sell-through rate on Ray Dunn, just in general. I'm sure there are some Ray Dunn items that are, are still kind of a hot, hot item, but not so much. Okay, so in the last six months, when I do that search, and there's not even there's nothing for the sell through right there so it's something to reevaluate so if you're noticing that you know leave me a comment and tell me things that you used to pick up that just aren't selling like they used to and and we can try to figure this thing out together cuz we can't just keep doing what we've always done and expect that it's going to keep going in the same direction that it used to to be going in again i know i sound like a broken record on this video but I want to succeed and I want you to succeed as well. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to link a playlist with some of my more recent sales. Some of them are my top sales over the last year. And then there's a couple playlists. I've got my October, my November things that I've sold. I'm working on my December one right now. So make sure that you've subscribed. So I'll link that playlist and then YouTube has a video here that they think you will like as well. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.